So at this point, um, we are here with Roger, and Roger's going to show us some stuff from Cormel. Go ahead, Roger. Thank you. So. I'm the uh, founder and director of Cormelt, and we, you probably know some of our stuff. We've got the lock and load stabilizer, and we've got the mocker tracking products, uh, SliceX, DriveX, TrackX. What we're now revealing today is two completely new products, and one is for finishing, one is for saving time on going through all your rushes. So, which one do you want to see first? Finishing. Finishing, okay. So in that case, we're going to show you the uh, Cormelt Chromatic product, which is a completely uh, self-contained grading plugin that can do everything. And you might think that I'm exaggerating, but just wait. Chromatic is a plugin that will do curves, wheels, uh, tracked masks, degrain, regrain, and pretty much anything else you want to do. Look loading, look management, all in one plugin. So the, the track masks is built in. Uh, I'm going to run you through some of the features now. Let's go and show you the interface. Let's find a nice clip to start on. Yeah, it's a pretty nice one. So this is Blackmagic uh, log footage. And we need to, first of all, of course, convert it to Rec 709 and then start doing a grade on it. So you see this is a plugin over there, I'm just going to drop in, using the floating window, a Kalut. Now, we're going to have the integrated LUT browser from our um, LUTX product in here with the first public release, but at the moment, we're just choosing which one we want to load. Okay, so then now that's got it into Rec 709. Let's just get, make that a little bit bigger. Oops. Right, and then scale this down a bit. OK. So now we can go ahead and start playing with it. So the way this works is we've got uh, a stack of tools that you can add in any order and swap them around. But we've actually got three stacks. We've got one for the overall grade, one for inside a shape mask, and one for outside, right? built in in one pass in one plugin. So in this case, let's say, OK, I just want to do overall. And of course, we've got your standard wheels for lift, gamma, gain, um, or bars for that, which, use, which work as you would expect. Let's just reset that. And we've also got lows, mid, high wheels. So again, I can just say push the highlights towards whichever, the good old FCP7 Color Wheels Return, which other plugins also do, of course. And let's actually get rid of that. So the really interesting ones, of course, you've got the full RGB curves, which we can enter as many points as we want, pull them around. Now, the other thing about this is that this is actually taking all the different adjustments you put on here and collapsing them all into a single 3D cube look. So it is very fast, playback in real time, um, unless you get into, if you get into masks and then complicated layers, it might slow down a little bit. But for basic grading, is all real time. OK, so let's get rid of uh, that, because actually, no, that's actually looking not too bad. OK, and then we'll go into, now, this is a very interesting one. We can adjust saturation uh, versus hue. So I can say, OK, I just want to play with the saturation of the leaves and push that up or down. Right, play with the angle of the curve there. And if I wanted to put another point on it. So you can get really precise with this. Um, I can also drag and select multiple points. Hang on, there we go. Then play with that up or down. And. We also have replace color. So this is your secondary color correction. Uh, in this case, I can, let's turn that off, turn that off. I can choose the color just by dragging it here. Now, the color picker is not working yet. This is, this is still beta software. But in the final release, you'll be able to just choose the color here and then go in and adjust the color range, including the handles here. 
and then say, OK, we want to make that brighter and play with the tolerance and softness here. So I mean, if anyone wants any other tools, we're, we're willing to uh, discuss adding them. But we think that's a pretty comprehensive set of grading tools. Uh, there will be presets. There will be a gallery for saving and loading stacks of plugins. So let's, let's show you a few more specific examples of a different type of shot. So one of the things you might want to do a lot is track the face to protect skin tones. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. OK. Right, so let's go over to this one here. So this is already in Rec 709, so we don't need to actually convert that and add the grade tool. So in this case, I'm going to do the mask first. So I'm going to go back, turn on Use Mask, and just draw the shape for her face and neck. OK. And this works the same as Slice X, if you've played with it, in that I've just got the draw the shape, hit track. So that's going to be pretty quick. You can then also add keyframes to correct any problems with the tracking. OK, so go back. Uh, in this case, I would sort of clean up a little bit, add two or three keyframes, just to make it a little bit neater. So then when I open up my, my uh, panel here for chromatic, we can say, OK, we want to change uh, outside to give a nice stylized sort of blue-green look. So let's go to the low-mid-highs, and we're going to push the lows towards blue a little bit, and highs towards green. And we can adjust the softness on the face as well. So that's just protected the skin tone, and that's obviously tracked already. So as far as I know, with any other solution, you'd be looking at at least two or three layers to do the same thing. Uh, multiple plugins, and then having to you know, copy paste shapes between them. This lets you do that all in one go, in one pass. And let's just go back to show you that the mask is following. Now, we are going to be including um, degrain and film grain tools with this. At the moment, they're not integrated into the stack of effects here, but they will be later on. So, but we'll include a plugin for film grain um, and for denoise. It's using some of the ideas we were we were going to release in our NoiseX plugin. We kind of some of it didn't work out, but we took what we could and put it into here. So that's why we're not selling it as a separate plugin. It's, that's going to be included as part of this uh, grading tool. 